Let's create four glitch transitions. So I am here in my premiere, where I prepared five clips that you saw in the trailer, where I will be creating four transitions. All of these transitions are built on an adjustment layer. So if you do not have an adjustment layer in your project, make sure to just create one, right click new item in the adjustment layer. Let's do the first one. Apply your adjustment layer on top of your clip. Want the adjustment layer to be 30 frames long, 24 frames before and six after. So I'm gonna go to the left. 24 frames, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then one back. I go five frames at a time by holding down shift and then pressing the left arrow key. Let's do the same here. So six frames this way. That's beautiful. The first effect that I will be using is an effect called VR Digital Glitch. Just apply that. Don't be scared that it's for VR. Still works in here. Open up distortion. And we want to keyframe color distortion, geometry distortion X, distortion complexity, and the distortion rate. Just take these to the start of your transition like so. Let's start changing the color distortion, the geometry distortion, and the distortion rate. First and foremost, I'm going to start by setting color distortion to zero, the distortion geometry to zero, the distortion rate to zero and the distortion complexity to zero or one. Then I'm gonna go forward four frames. I will change the color distortion to 100, and the geometry distortion to 50, and the distortion rate to 50. And then I'm gonna go forward eight frames. And I will change the color distortion to zero the geometry distortion to zero and the distortion rate to zero. And now it's time to animate the distortion complexity. And this is kind of simple. I'm going to go one frame at a time and I'm going to switch between 40 and 100. So we have this thing currently. Which is quite nice already. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called Invert. Just apply that. And we want this one to start basically when our digital glitch ends. Somewhere around here, so it has a little bit of space, so it's not instantly going into it. I will start by setting the blend with original to 100. And then enable keyframes. This is right around after 20 frames, but it's a glitch. You can basically do what you want. In here, I will go one forward one frame each time. I'll change this to zero. The keyframe at RGB, one frame. Red, green, blue. And then HLS, saturation, lightness again, maybe. I don't know. Red. Now we have this thing going on. This looks very trippy. All right. Last thing which I will do is search for an effect called VR chromatic aberrations and apply that. This one I want to run for the entirety of the glitch. So from its starts, I want it to be from minus 10 and 10 on aberration red and blue. And then go to the very end. And here I just want to crank it up to something crazy. Let's maybe do this. So we have this ramping kind of chromatic aberrations. This this transition is wild, but I kind of like it. All right, let's look at the next transition. This one also uses an adjustment layer. This one is also 30 frames, 17 frames before and 13 after. nice. First and foremost, I will search for a way called transform under distort and apply that. And this one is just to play around with the opacity. So I'm going to enable keyframes on opacity, put it to 20, go forward, maybe three frames, put it to 
90. Forward one frame, let's do 24 now. Go forward maybe five frames. Go to 66. I'm just doing some random numbers here, but I know this will kind of look good. One frame, 11. Two frames, let's do 45. One frame, let's do 24. Two frames, let's do 69. And two frames, 100. Now again, I want to use a VR chromatic aberrations and apply that. This one we want to have, have be wild. Going to enable keyframes with an aberration red and blue. Maybe turn it up to something crazy like 50 and negative 50, something like this. Just every one frame, just change one of them. So maybe from negative 50 to 50 and just keyframes. Let's go again one frame or two frames maybe. Kind of want it to line up with the blinking. Oh, not really, but uh, just kind of want to mix it up a little bit. See what looks good here. Just play around. There is no real mistakes here. Let's go forward two frames, add a keyframe, and then have this one fade to zero. I'm gonna do the same thing for this other one, but maybe have it fade after four frames. Make it look like it's random. Now let's see how it looks. It looks nice, except I think, uh, except I think I want maybe a little bit black here. 24 and then once it cuts then make it 100 here this looks nice but we can make it look a little bit better we select all these first keyframes here and select fold it means it won't it will only change when it blinks ah, i see what is wrong this one should not be hold this one should be linear So that is the second one. Let us create the third transition, which I call the reality destroyer. This one is a little bit different. So I'm gonna take an adjustment here again. And make this one 28 frames. 15 before. And let's do 13 after. To mix it up a bit. It's beautiful. I'm going to search for an effect called Echo. This one under time and apply that. Next up, I will go to the start of our adjustment layer. And I will enable keyframes on Echo Time, Number of Echoes, and the Echo Operator. I will start by going forward four frames on the Echo Time. Let me change that to one, two, three, four. It's the echo time to 0 0.5 and maybe the echo operator to maximum. Let's have it this one. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Let's go forward another four frames. One, two, three, four. Let's change this one to one number of echoes to two. And this one to screen, maybe. Go forward one, two, three, three frames. Change this one to 0 0.5 maybe. And let's change number of echoes to three. Let's change the echo operator to maximum. I'm gonna go forward another three frames. One, two, three. Change the number of echoes to two. This one's to 0 0.7. And the echo operator to screen. Go forward four frames, one, two, three, four. And now I kind of want this one to go back to normal. So zero, zero, and I don't know. Just let's leave it like that. And I guess the, let's see how it looks. It looks kind of nice, but maybe I want the echo time to be hold instead. Oops. Yeah, that is what we want. That's beautiful. So we get this kind of bang in here with this light. That's nice. Next up, I will just add a Gaussian blur. That is beautiful. 
one second before we cut i'm gonna enable keyframes here blurriness zero cut i'm gonna change the blurriness to 25 and to the end of the adjustment i will turn it down to zero so we kind of have this blurry entrance that's beautiful take a look all right let us create the last one which i call the embus shaker again an adjustment layer this one requires 13 frames seven frames before and six after nice i will search for an effect called offset this one under distort and apply that one that is beautiful I'm gonna enable keyframes at the shift center to at the start. Go forward one frame. Change the X corner to 1055. Forward one frame, reset it. Maybe go forward four frames. And do the same thing. One frame and then reset it. So now we have this thing. It's a very subtle kind of shake. The shake is not, it's just gonna help us like kind of Give the color or the next step some uh, little bit of shake. So I'm going to search for effect called color and bus under stylize and apply that. I go to the start of our adjustment layer and we want to keyframe the direction, the relief, and the contrast. And then we're going to start with all of them at zero. That's beautiful. And I'm going to go forward one frame, add this one to 84. This one to 42, this one to 221. And what I basically want to do is just repeat these two so you can copy them to kind of get this thing. I guess we need it here as well, kind of. The same thing, something like that. That's actually very simple and it looks pretty sweet. So take a look at the four effects that we created today. But anyways, that was all I had for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then maybe consider subscribing and dropping a like and maybe leave a comment letting me know what you liked and what you didn't like or if you have any video suggestions. Anyways, see you guys. Bye bye.